What's going on? YouTube Tony here, back with a video on the iPhone SE 2020, how to get the Siri Assistant to open up the other Assistant, the Google one. Um, I don't want to say the catchphrase because it will activate some of my devices. So um, I went ahead and have it all set up on my iPhone SE second generation. And how I found this was I was tinkering with uh, the application here. Let me see if I close it on my apps. I went to settings and I was tinkering with accessibility, touch, scroll down to the bottom, back tap. So back tap is now present on iOS 14, beta 3 for the iPhone SE. So it wasn't present for the iPhone SE on beta 1 and on beta 2, I couldn't even tell you because I honestly, I didn't even check on it. So shout out to one of my viewers who actually pointed it out and said that it was working or he actually added it on the beta 3 iOS 14. So I uh, went ahead and installed this Google app right here, which is the assistant. And while I installed that, it prompted me for, uh, let me see if I can find it here for this right here. So this is a screenshot, but it prompted me for add to Siri. So now you have the ability to add this to Siri. So when you say the cat, open up Siri, say the catchphrase, it'll actually open up the other assistant. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now we have the ability. I don't know if this has been uh, been there for a while or I just noticed it. So I don't know if it's been there for a while. Comment down below if it's been out for a while and I just never knew about it. But swipe over and you have uh, these shortcuts. And when in the shortcuts, you can see that you do have the catchphrase. When I say that catchphrase, it'll actually open up that assistant. So. I changed the catchphrase. My catchphrase now is genius. So when, whenever I open up Siri and I say genius, it'll actually open up the other assistant. So I'm gonna demo it for you guys. Now it doesn't work perfectly, but I believe it works better than that back tap because I had the back tap going and every time I would put it in my pocket, it would open up the assistant and I didn't want that. So I disabled that and I went with this one, the Siri option here. So we'll go ahead and test it out. Genius. Hello. Hope you're having a great day, Tony. How can I help? What is the weather like? Currently in Parma, it's 83 and clear. The forecast tonight is for a high of 84 and a low of 75 and clear. And tomorrow, there will be thunderstorms. So as you can see, now we have Siri opening up the other assistant. So it works great. I've been using it. It's not like the fastest but it's still it's it's a lot smarter than Siri honestly so I've been using it more I just uh, I enjoy it so yeah you can install it on the, on the device and you don't need a jailbreak or anything uh, you can just use uh, the Google app download it and install it the assistant and then you'll have that pop up where it'll actually ask you if you want to add it to Siri just select add to Siri and then this will pop up and you can change it here you can also go back to this by going to the Apple shortcuts. So if you go to shortcuts here, you can go back in here and let me see how you tap here. Let me see, see the see genius there. You can change it there. So you can just change the name, put whatever name you want and uh, you can have it open. So the reason why I changed it is because I didn't want it to open other apps or other devices that I have throughout the house. So uh, this is, the way I set it up but yeah it's great I uh, hope I helped somebody out there wanting to use the Google 